Hey everyone, welcome back to your MySQL series. We are going to be moving on to one of my favorite topics, relationships. Relationships are created when we have a column that references another column in a database. This is what's known as a foreign key. A column is a foreign key if it references another column. And the column it references has to be either a primary key or have the unique attribute. When we do this, we create a relationship. This is a relationship because we have multiple tables and they are related in somehow, in some way, in somehow, really. Now there are actually three types of relationships. Now we can only store these two in a database. This one we actually have to manipulate into, eh, you guys wanna know about that. I'll make you wait till we start talking about many to many relationships in the upcoming video. In the meantime, we are going to focus on one-to-one -one relationships. One-to-one -one relationships are actually very easy to understand. All it is, is an attribute that describes an entity. Now, if you don't remember what attribute an entity is, go watch the previous videos where I talk about terminology for databases, because that's all foundational to what we're talking about here. An example of this might be a user and a username. In this situation, the username is the attribute that describes the user. And then if you wanna get more specific, we could give an example of a user and a username. So here's a user, and his username might be Caleb123. That specific username exclusively describes that specific user. If we have this other guy over here, he's not gonna get that sweet name. He's gonna have to come up with something on his own. Good luck though, because you cannot compete with Caleb123. Now that we understand that a one-to-one -one relationship is simply an attribute that describes an entity, how do we store this? Well, how do we normally store attributes? It's simple. We just store it as a column inside of a table. The table is designated for that entity. So we would have like a user table and one of the columns would be whatever the attribute is. In this case, the username. So we could have a user with the ID of seven and the username Caleb123. You're not limited to just doing this over one table. You can have one-to-one -one relationships over different tables. You just have to remember that you need to use the unique constraint. So if we had another table over here, we could reference the user ID, for example. And then what we would do is label this as unique. And that means this column is exclusive in that each row references only one ID. For example, seven. We could not have another seven that would be against the rules. So that kind of sums up how to design one-to-one -one relationships. You either have it as a column inside of a table that describes that entity. The user table would be that entity uh, right here. And the column would be the attribute describing that entity. Or you can have it over multiple tables. You just have to remember, you need to use the unique constraint to force a one-to-one -one relationship. If you don't use the unique constraint, you create what's known as a one-to-many relationship, which we will talk about in the next video. So that's all for this. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please support the channel by clicking that subscribe button and clicking like. That really helps me grow my channel. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks. Peace.